So today, let's refuel in Airbus A320 from the main refueling panel and from the cockpit. So first, we make sure we go through all the safety procedures. So as we all know that fuel is highly flammable and handling or working around fuel also is a very risky procedure. So it's very important for us to follow the refueling safety procedures strictly. And please use the relevant aircraft maintenance manual whenever you're working on live aircraft. So we were not going to go through all the procedures because it will make our video very lengthy. But I just wanted to mention it for everyone's awareness. So with that being said, let's go back to our refueling panel. So first thing first is we test our lights and make sure that all lamps are working properly. Then we test our high level indication. So that's our refueling mode select switch. But first, let's set the fuel. So we come to our pre-selector and we move our switch towards the increase direction. So the figure on the pre-select panel is the required fuel, the amount of fuel that we need on the aircraft. So we keep pressing our pre-select switch until we reach our target figure. We then go to our more select switch, open the guard and then move the switch towards the refuel position. So after this, the refueler can start the fueling truck and the refueling process will begin. So when the actual fuel quantity gets to the target figure, the FQIC will close the refueling valve and this light will come on, the fuel end light will come on. FQIC stands for Fuel Quantity Indicating Computer. But hold up, uh, wait a minute, there's this light, what's this light for? Well, this is a cockpit refueling annunciator. It's an indication that cockpit refueling control is in operation. Hence the abbreviation CKPT. So this is our cockpit refueling panel. So to activate the power now, you need to set the power switch to on. And once the power switch is on, the uh, panel comes on. Then you go to our pre-selector, our cockpit pre-selector. Same thing like you do in the main refueling panel. You set it to increase. And once you get your target amount, you go and set the control switch on. And once you set the refueling control switch on, the refueling can commence. And once the actual fuel is equal to the pre-select, the fuel refueling will stop. And next to the refueling coupling, a green light will come on to let the refueler know that cockpit refueling is in operation. Thank you for watching. Follow for more. Ciao.